Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try to answer the question, is it worth taking out a loan for your engineering degree? Someone asked me this on one of my recent videos, and I think it's a really complicated question because what's worth it to one person may not be worth it to another person. For me, what's worth it is whether or not the choice that I'm making or the path that I'm taking is leading me to be able to live a life that I want to live. And let's be honest, to be able to live the life that you want, you probably do need to have some sort of financial stability or be financially independent. So what I've done is I've created a GUI in Python. The code and the executable are both free to download. I'll provide more information on that in a little bit, but it's free to download and play with, modify if you want for your own purposes, but you can put in the details of your loan, see how much you'd have to pay each month to pay it off. If you want to pay an additional amount of money every month, you can also say, yeah, every month I'll contribute, you know, an extra hundred dollars, extra $200. And you can see how long it would take you to pay off your loan if you do that. I guess you could also use this to calculate mortgage payments, although with mortgage payments, there are reasons why you wouldn't want to pay it off early. And so you could just leave that part zero. But for student loans, definitely, if you could pay it off early, you should try to do that. You could also put an estimate for a salary that you think you might make after you graduate, along with an estimate for the effective tax rate and an option to specify a certain amount to set aside for savings every year. Maybe you want to try to max out your 401k. And so for that case, you'd put $19,500 in that box. And then you can see how much take home you'd actually have every month if you also have to pay off parts of your student loan. And this tool I'm hoping can give you some sort of idea of what kind of life you might be able to support when you graduate if you do graduate with a loan. I've also configured this form so you can leave the loan amount blank and you can just input your salary and see how much take home you'd have if you also want to set aside a certain amount for savings if that's interesting to you. So if you'd like to be able to download it and play with it or if you just want to see the code, I made a GitHub repository where I think I'll put resources that I'd like to make available to anyone who watches my YouTube videos. I'll put the address somewhere here on the screen and in the description box below, but you don't need Git to be able to download it. There's an option on the GitHub page to download the file. I've also made it into an executable file if you don't care about the code, but if you are interested in the code, stay tuned and I will walk you through it. It's also very likely that between now and when I publish this video, I might make changes to the code, but I think the overall functionality of it and the functions are probably gonna stay the same. So hopefully my description in this video will still match the code when I push it to GitHub. Actually, before I walk you through the code, I wanna show you an example real quick, just to show you how it works. So if I have a loan amount of let's say $35,000, and an annual interest rate of maybe 3%. I don't know what actually is standard for interest rates on student loans, but let's just say it's 3% and a loan term of, let's say five years. So they give you five years to pay it back. And maybe right now you don't know if you can make an extra monthly payment, so you leave that zero. And before filling out the salary, the effective tax rate, and any savings, you can still calculate the total monthly payment to be about $629. And without an additional monthly payment, then your time to repay in years is an expected five years. So with an additional monthly payment, say that you would like to pay it off early and you're going to try to pay an additional $200 every month to try to pay it off early. Then your total monthly payment turns out to be about $829 and the amount of time it would take you to repay that off would be 3.7 years. So you can pay it off a little bit early. If you want to see that in months, it would take you 45 months. Now, let's say you want to estimate a salary and you want to see how much money you'll actually be able to take home, given that you also have to pay off this loan. If you look at the city that you want to live in and you see an average salary for an engineer with your background and your stats, maybe the average salary in that city for you is $100,000. And the effective tax rate, say you're in California, that's probably about 24%. And so you do want to max out your 401k and you're not sure if you can contribute more than that, but 
maxing out your 401k is great. You put in $19,500. Then your monthly take home salary is almost $4,000. And then after that, you can, you know, break it down and think how much of that would actually have to go to living expenses and then how much of that would you actually have to spend on, you know, whatever you want to spend it on. I didn't really break down that information anymore, but I hope me going through an example here gives you an idea of how I intended for people to be able to use this form. Now let's get into the code. To make the GUI in Python, I used a package called tkinter, which I had not used before, and so I had to do a lot of Googling, but it was pretty easy to set up, and most of the math behind this is actually just contained within a few functions. The first function that I have is called calculate monthly payment, and it takes in a loan amount, an interest rate, a loan term, and I also have the option to specify the units of your loan term, so if you want to specify it in years or months, it also takes that as an optional argument. And the purpose of this function is to calculate the monthly payment of a loan. The next function I have is called calculate time to repay. So this is if you want to pay off your loan early, you can specify an additional monthly payment and all of the other parameters of your loan. And you can see how much time it would take you to pay off that loan if you do contribute a little bit extra every month. The next function I have is called calculate monthly take home and it takes in your salary as well as an effective tax rate, which you'd have to estimate based off of where you live and your income. And then it also takes in an annual savings amount. So just however much money you want to set aside every year for savings. Again, if you want to max out your 401k, it would be $19,500 at least in this year, 2021. And you know, however much money, on top of that, you might want to set aside for savings. So it'll take in all of that information and then it'll tell you what your actual like raw take home value is. And then I just have a few wrapper functions that take in the entries that are passed in through the form, through the GUI, and they call their respective functions to be able to calculate the time to repay or calculate the total monthly payment. And then I just have the form, which just links the right buttons to the right functions and the right entries to the right variables. And yeah, I think it's actually quite simple of a script. I'm still going through actually trying to finalize it, trying to get the proper error messages to show up if, you know, you leave an amount blank or you enter an incorrect value. And, you know, I don't expect I'm going to cover all of the edge cases here for all of the different ways that people could potentially use this form, but I am happy to continue working on this. If you think of a use case that maybe this doesn't cover, I'm happy to add to it. Just feel free to let me know if there's something in this form that is not quite configured to the way that you would like to use it. And of course, if you have a question about the code, feel free to ask it in the comments below or on the GitHub page. I will try to monitor that. And I think that's going to do it for this video. I think I might use some of these functions to do a video in the future on unit testing. I'm not sure yet. For me, when I was testing this, I was using online calculators. But if you did enjoy this video, and if you'd like to see more videos where I talk about code or I show you applications that I make, then let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. And again, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, bye.